This was five years ago, and I was praying at our mini chapel in my university when this scary experience happened to me. It was my routine to pray for a week straight before my exam. As I was going inside the chapel, I assumed that I would be the only one in there, but I saw a woman who was sitting in the front row. I felt a sense of relief that I was not alone, as I was afraid of the dark. There were only a few lights inside the chapel, and all of them were on the side where the woman was sitting. I was not bothered by it, so I found a place in the last row, sat down, and lowered my head like a bow, and closed my eyes to prepare myself to pray. Soon after, I felt a bit strange, so I opened my eyes for a moment. I looked at the woman and noticed that she was now kind of nearer to where I was sitting. She was in the third row, which was a bit weird because she was in the first row when I saw her a moment ago. I shrugged it off, thinking that maybe the woman had moved without me noticing or I was just imagining things. I lowered my head again, then the strange feeling crept back. I lifted my head and saw the woman was in the fifth row, only three rows away from me. The creepiness was flowing through my body. I didn't know if I should stand up and rush out of the chapel. I was stuck in my place, still staring at the woman's back. I gathered my strength and bowed my head, closed my eyes, and started my prayer. I remember asking for strength to overcome the situation I was facing at the time and continued with the usual prayer for my exam preparation. I heard the sound of movement, so I thought that the creepy woman was gone. I was kind of relieved and calmed before I ended my prayer. But I was struck with horror when I opened my eyes and saw the woman sitting in the row just in front of mine. She had long hair, a pale face, and her dead eyes were creepily staring at me while her head was on top of her hands. She was smiling, but it was not a normal smile. It was more like a grin that reached her ears. I was also staring at her, and my blood rushed out of my body when she turned her head sideways and said, Amen? While she kept her creepy grin. I was stuck for a few seconds, my body completely numb, but managed to get out of the chapel. I ran away, not turning back. When I reached the dorm, my roommate saw me panting really hard. They asked me what happened, and I told them about the woman at the chapel. One of my roommates told me that her aunt, who was a professor in the university, also saw the woman in the chapel, but the ghost was turned upside down when she was done with her prayer. She did not believe her aunt then, but now she did after learning what happened to me. After that incident, I would still do my prayer routine before every exam, but I never went back to that chapel again. Up to this day, I still wonder what would have happened to me if I wasn't able to get out of that creepy chapel.